Hello, everyone. Welcome to Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. This is your host, Iggy. Yay. Thank you for that. You guys, presenting tonight, we're going to take a look at some toys by Lewis Galoob Toy Corporation. And these were released in starting in 1994 uh, under their Micro Machines toy banner. And they released uh, a number of them from 1994 through 1996. And uh, what you see here is most of them, I am missing a couple because uh, they're incomplete. And then I have uh, Chewbacca's in storage. So let's take a look at what we have here. Starting on the far right, my far right, your left. Is it your left or you're still your right? I guess you're right. I don't know. I'm very seldom right. We have the only one that has an intact body, and that's R2-D2. The others are represented, represented, represented by a bust. And if I don't get this going, I'm going to bust something. You got to bust a move. What am I talking about? Iggy, just be quiet. You irritate everybody. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> so R2-D2 is the only one that's not getting ahead of the rest of everyone. These guys are far ahead. Uh, never mind. <coughs> Iggy, you might want to stop doing that. Okay, sorry. So there's R2-D2. Now, each one of these comes with, uh, when you open it up, there's a play environment representing a scene from the movie, from the movies, I should say. And this one is, of course, Yoda. You guys know who all these characters are uh, since they've been around for almost 50 years, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting close to 50 years. Good grief, it's hard to believe. Uh, okay, there's uh, everyone's favorite daddy. And C-3PO. And let's uh, move some of these aside so we can see the, the back row. Okay, this one here was Boba Fett. I don't know what happened to his face. I, I do remember having it and then trying to put it on there and I had some trouble and I set it down somewhere and I, I can't find it. So who knows where it went. And then over here is uh, Jabba the Hutt and his tail is missing. He came in three pieces. There's one of his eyes. Here's the other one. And so he's in complete chaos there. Uh, we have Stormtrooper, we have the Imperial Guard, TIE Fighter Pilot, and I'm presuming that it's supposed to be Luke, but it doesn't look like Luke, and he, he gives me the heebie-jeebies, and I'm going to show you why. If you woke up in the middle of the night and saw this staring at you, you'd get quite a fright. Look at those eyes. It's a little on the creep side, I think. Creepy, creepy. They look like glass eyeballs. Anyway, I don't think I like that one. I think there's stickers that are supposed to go up here. All right, now I don't want to tease you by saying, oh, well, there's play sets in here without at least showing you one. I mean, that seems obligatory at at this point so I'm going to open up Darth Vader and you fold this piece down and this becomes the landing pad for uh, Boba Fett's Slave 1 and we'll put that out here of course this is not to scale with the figures but there we are there it is on the landing pad and then uh, up here is where Han Solo gets frozen in carbonite. And I'm going to uh, 
it's hard to do one-handed. Here, let me set the phone down. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, I turned the wheel, and here's Han in carbonite. And then uh, he starts off lowered into this pit, and you turn this knob this way, and he emerges like that. And then there's different characters here. These are all painted. And considering how small these are, they're like one inch. I apologize for this here. That's where I stab myself with a needle to test my blood sugar, which was over 400 just a few minutes ago. Um, here I have Darth Vader. And you would put him up here. And then there's a figure of Luke Skywalker. And where he, here he is. And you'd put him up here. My fingers are too fat and numb to manipulate these little pieces. See that? I'm having a devil of a time trying to put this in here. Maybe if I set the camera down again. Oh, jeez. Anyway, since I'm having troubles doing this, if you... There, okay. Now, ideally what's supposed to happen is you turn a switch in the back or press it from side to side. This moves and knocks him through the glass window. So let's see if I can do that. Uh, the first time I tried it, I... <sighs> All right, let me try this again. My hand is too fat to do this. Okay. Now, where's the switch? See, because I'm not able to hold on to this very well, this is supposed to knock him through the glass. And I was hoping to be able to show you that. But, because this is kind of a cool little manual effect that they de developed here. Oh, the hell with it. It needs two hands in order to do it. You need to hold on to it here. Because when I'm trying to do it, it keeps sliding and it's not giving it enough uh, momentum or pressure to knock him through the window. But he's supposed to fall through the window there. But each playset has a sort of a little environment that you can set figures up. Like this one came with a Stormtrooper, uh, Lando Carissian. And look at the paint job here, guys, on this little tiny figure. Even he has the interior of his cape. That's really good when you think about it. I wonder how they did that. Even to the point of painting the inside of his cape. Very good. And it has a stormtrooper. And you can see he's also painted. Wow, you know what? I'm very impressed by this, guys. I never really looked at these before. Here's Chewbacca, and I think he has... 3PO on his back in pieces. And then, of course, there's Vader and Luke Skywalker. 
All right, guys, that's all I've got for you this time. I wish I could have showed you Chewbacca. I think Chewbacca, his interior was um, Battle of Endor or the Sanctuary Moon of Endor. And I think on Jabba, it was the Rancor Pit. I'm not sure on that. Let me see. Anyway, I wish I could have showed that. Oh, and uh, here's Boba Fett. And who knows what happened to his face. I, is it over here? No. Is it back there? No. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Um, this may be my very last video. Uh, it depends on if I find uh, we pretty much went through my storage space, my brother, nephew, and I. And uh, But I do remember seeing a box that said Mark's Playsets, but I'm pretty sure, I'm not doggone sure, but I'm pretty sure that they don't have any Mark's figures inside of them. But I'll get it out of storage, take a look, and if it's worth filming, I'll bring it home and uh, we can take a look at that. Uh, and then uh, that should be it until Christmas. All right, you guys, you all take care of each other. And I had mentioned that last time we'd go to the uh, Holiday Theater in Canoga Park, California, and see two movies for 50 cents and cartoons. I think we should do that again and go for a, the double header of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and uh, Swiss Family Robinson or Treasure Island. The choice is yours. All right, guys, make sure you sneak some milk duds in there. <laughs> uh, well, that's not nice to do that. Uh, theaters actually make their money off of the snack bar. They don't make any money off of the movies. Okay, I'll, uh, my dad worked for a movie distribution company, and it was surprising how little money they made off of those things. It's mostly snacks, that because the snacks had like a 1,000% markup or something. It was pretty crazy. Uh, that is, I think, soda and popcorn has got that kind of markup. All right, you guys, that's it for Iggy. Thank you for joining the Iggy Army. Uh, for those of you who've been here with me since the beginning, I want to thank you very much. And for those of you who've joined me along the way, uh, my gratitude is for you also. Uh, it's been a long journey. We started back in, uh, I think it was August or September of 2021. Uh, I think I've done about 275 videos or something to that effect. And uh, there's been many times when I would get discouraged and want to quit and one of you would cheer me up and say kind words that kept me going. Uh, but there's a lot. Of, I see the thing is, is I thought that I would have a lot of people really interested in all my toys. And uh, it's just hasn't been the case. I haven't caught on with anybody and uh, my subs are really low for having done this for two years. It's like if if the amount of subs I had was for one month, that would be pretty dang good. But after two years, you're like, oh, I'm doing something wrong. And I think what I'm doing wrong is I'm not editing. I'm not using sound effects or music. I'm not reading from a script. I'm just talking to you as if, you were sitting here in front of me and I was sharing my thanks with you. And I guess that's a technique that uh, is not too popular, I guess. So for those of you I disappointed because of that, I'm sorry. And for those of you who stuck with me and my mission to show you all these things, you guys are great. I have no complaints. You guys made me feel good, and I'm very grateful for that. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I'm going to say goodbye. 
Sayonara.